Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of Throw. In this video, we're going to be doing an overview on the gun and bow component in Ascent Combat Framework in Unreal Engine 5. And if you're using the full sample, you can just go into the Blueprints folder, then Items, and then Weapons, and you'll see a list of all your weapons. So you'll see this ACF Automatic Rifle and the bow. And let's go ahead and start with the Automatic Rifle. And after, the, after opening the Blueprint Editor for the ACF Automatic Rifle BP, you're going to see that there's a parent of the ACF range weapon master, which is not the same as the bow. The only difference is that there's a shooting component and it's just plugged into this setup shooting component. And you can see that in the components, there's a shooting comp here and a collision comp. And if we go back to our automatic rifle, you'll see that it's using an anim class called ABP weapon rifle. And you can go ahead and open this up. And this is just a very basic anim graph for the rifle itself. And then you can also modify where the projectile start socket is. So I know in ACF by default in the sample, the muzzle is a bit further out. So I think it was actually somewhere up here. It wasn't really in the proper place. So it looked like it was coming out of the air or somewhere not accurate. But in your skeletal mesh, you can just move this down and put it right in front of where the actual bullet will come, come out of, just like that. And that will pretty much just determine which projectile or where the projectile will start. And then you can also have some sounds along with some Niagara particles or action particles. And this um, cascade is just this little flash that comes out of your gun as soon as you shoot. And then under the ammo section, under the ACF tab, it'll you can check it to consume ammo or just have infinite ammo if you uncheck it. And then you can also tell it which projectile to use, which is the ACF bullet BP. So I'll go ahead and open this one up, but I will just go back to the gun for now. And you can set set things up such as ammo magazine, use magazines, um, projectile shooting speed, for example, sniper rifles may be really fast with a lot lower mags, shooting radius, shooting range, and so on. Uh, it's a two-handed weapon, etc. You can even set these as like two one-handed if you wanted to use like dual wielding pistols, for example. And then if you scroll down a bit, you'll see that you can set the item that's connected to your character's uh, equipment and components manager as long as the move sets and the overlays and the actions. And when you equip it versus where it is in hand and the item slot will determine which part of your inventory equipment it takes. And that is actually in your player character. So if I head over to my ultimate player BP and go down to my equipment and inventory component, you'll see that available equipment slot. So for the rifle, it says item slot dot range weapon. And over here, there is an item slot dot range weapon. So this must match the item that you're going to equip in order for your player to actually be able to hold the gun and equip it. And now let's go over the bullet blueprint. So your bullet component will be composed of a static mesh along with the materials. You can give it a sphere radius. And then for the projectile movement component, you can set its initial speed and max speed if you want your projectile to bounce around. And you can play around with the simulation as much as you want. You can even make it into a homing projectile for example, if you have a rocket that targets some sort of ship or something. And then under collision component, there is a damage trace along with the radius with the start and end socket that should be tied to your mesh. And now we'll go over the bow. Uh, I know a lot of people have questions about the arrows and the lifespan, and we'll go over that pretty shortly. But essentially, same thing as I covered for the gun goes with the bow. As you can see, the parent class is just the ACF range weapon. So there is a show projectile component and then also the ACF arrow or whichever one you want to set it to you can just click this drop down to change it and just note that it has to be an item in your inventory in order for it to be consumed if you are going to use this consume arrow and now go ahead and open this arrow blueprint and open the full blue print editor and you'll see that in this arrow BP which is a child of the ACF physical projectile BP and for your arrow, you can set the static mesh. By default, it's the Freshia mesh, which is just this arrow. And you can see that this arrow has the start and end sockets to determine where the damage would take place if it was to touch an enemy, which are our sockets for the damage traces, for the damage traces. And if you scroll down under the ACF tab, so under the projectile, you can set the initial speed and max speed and so on. And pretty much the same things as your bullet, since they are projectiles. Then all the way down here, these are pretty important. 
So your damage traces will need to be set up as so. So again, the start and end sockets that was on the static mesh. This is the attack sound, the radius. You can set your damage up here if you needed to, or you can do it. And if you scroll down to this ACF tab, you'll see that under the projectile, there's a projectile lifespan. So I can set this to something like 10 seconds and you can attach on hit or destroy on hit. So if you want to stick on your enemies, you can just do attach and then set it to, for example, 10 seconds here. And over here is the attached lifespan versus the projectile lifespan itself. And if you were to change this hit policy to destroy on hit, you would see that you can adjust this impact effect to your liking. So again, play your own action sound, Niagara particle and action particle once it gets destroyed. But I'll change this to attach on hit and leave it as 10 seconds. And then project the lifespan, I'll also leave that as 10 seconds. And then under your item info, you're gonna have to just, you're gonna have to make sure that this item slot, item slot dot ammo is set up. Same thing in your ultimate character or full sample character that there is an item slot dot ammo to tell your character that, or to tell the game that ACF arrow is an ammo type and which can be consumed by your bow in this case. And then back in your ACF bow, if you were to scroll down quite a bit, there is a section called weapon animations. And this is where you would, for the weapon shoot key, this is where you would pretty much be able to draw the string of your bow. So for example, if I were to go on, for example, this element one, which is weapon.pull and open this up, you'll see a montage that's in there by default called bow draw. So by default, it's this is from the start to the max of the bow draw itself. And then it will just loop at the max point once your character is pulling all the weight. And then for the release, it's pretty much just the reverse of it, which just plays the draw string going back to the original state just in a much faster manner. So basically after your character shoots his arrow. So I'll go ahead and equip the bow, click three on my keyboard and go find an enemy real quick. And I'll just start shooting just so you can see that there is a lifespan on this. And after 10 seconds, it should just disappear. Just like that. And then this one will disappear as well. Perfect. And you can actually just make your lifespan really long if you want to be able to pick it up. So for example, you saw this interaction thing. If I click E, it'll just pick up as it shows on the left. And if I were to land it on an enemy, so this blue guy over here, and I go up to him, you can see that the arrows are just kind of stuck on him. And on the bottom right, it shows that I ran out of ammo. So if I were to switch this over to my gun and just take out my gun. All right, got carried away playing the sample, but that is pretty much a brief overview on Ascend Combat Framework of the ranged weapons, the bow and the gun. If you have any questions or just want to let me know in the comments what I should do. So for example, if you need help adding some guns or anything, uh, feel free to leave that in the comments below. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and thanks.